Hello, now we are going to start with exercise 1.3. Class 10 mathematics, exercise 1.3. Let us do the question. Question number one. Question number one. L examine whether the following statements are true or false. The first one, the reciprocal of an irrational number is irrational. So you are going to take an irrational number, root 3 suppose, and if you are going to take the e re reciprocal of this, then it is also irrational. So this is true. Second. The set of natural number contains additive identity. For this, we need to understand what is additive identity. If we add something like 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 or 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. So if we add 0 to any number, then it will become the number itself. So 0 is called additive identity. So another thing is the set of natural number. What are the set of natural number you need to understand? The set of natural number are 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 all this number, right? is called natural number so contains additive and identity any zero included here no right so we can say it is false the set of integers has multiplicative identity so this is the set of integers has multiplicative identity what is multiplicative identity if you multiply 1 to 2 then it will become 2 so you are multiplying 1 to the number right so the set of integers has multiplicative identity so this one is called multiplicative identity now integers what do you mean by integers like minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 all these negative positive number including 0 is called integers i hope you know that so one is included here or not yes it is there so set of integers has multiplicative identity true that's all now question of roman number four the reciprocal of a non-zero rational number is rational the reciprocal of a non-zero rational number is rational take any rational number suppose let's say 2 by 3 and you take the reciprocal of this 3 by 2 right so this is rational this is also rational or take 2 then take the reciprocal of 2 that is 1 by 2 so we can write in this form right so we can say this is also true it is the reciprocal of non-zero rational number is rational Now another question, question number Roman number 4, Roman number 4, what does it says? The operation of subtraction in R is commutative. So what do you mean by commutative actually? Okay, so what does the commutative means? Commutative means A, okay, in subtraction. So A minus B is equal to B minus A. If these two are equal, then we can say it is commutative. So A let me put 3, B let me put 2. So... 2 minus 3, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, these two are not equal. So we can say this is false. Okay. I've written false. The operation of division in R is associative. So the operation of division in R, operation of division in R is associative. What do you mean by associative? So if you divide like suppose let's say 2 divided uh, like, uh, let me write down like this a divided by b divided by c must be equal to a divided by b divided by c something like this this is associative so suppose let's say instead of a you put 2 right divided by instead of b you put let me do instead of a you put 8 instead of b you put 4 and instead of c you put 2 same thing here 8 divided by 4 divided by so 8 divided by 4, 4 to the 8, right, divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, you can write down this one directly as 1. Here, 8 divided by 4 divided by 2, it is 2. So 8 divided by 2, it will be 2 for the 8, right. So this will be something like 4. So we can see clearly here that these two are not equal, right. So we can say this is also as false, okay. So operation of division in R is associative is not associative only multiplication and addition are associative and subtraction is not associative only multiplication and addition are commutative okay that's all thank you so much i hope you are able to understand we will meet in the next video